I'm Susan Madden, I'm the Executive Officer with Macquarie River Food and Fibre uh, based in Central West New South Wales in Dubbo. Uh, Macquarie River Food and Fibre is basically the peak regional group for irrigated agriculture. Um, I guess that fits into the cotton industry fairly directly. About 90% of water use for agricultural purposes in the region is for cotton production. So the, the bulk of our members are cotton growers. The Murray-Darling Basin plan has obviously been a really contentious um, process and the development has gone on over a number of years and pretty much we were in the thick of it when I started in my role in 2009. So Macquarie River Food and Fibre is basically into anything that affects the security or the affordability of the water resource for our growers because obviously the availability of water is um, primary for, for um, good growing conditions. So. Um, We'd previously been through water sharing plans, so there had been a lot of work already done and there was a lot of frustration and I guess what people call reform fatigue in that process. So um, it also came at the end of the drought where you know we'd probably lost a bit of engagement with the industry. So having a local representative and somebody who's in that um, full-time position to be able to represent industry issues on a national um, reform agenda was, was really key.